delighted to be able to uh, briefly support uh, the Solidarity and People Before Profits, the Anti-Eviction Bill 2018, which, as, as we remember, last can on the 18th of January last year, this very similar bill was almost passed by the House uh, when, uh, uh, very sadly and unfortunately, the Fianna Fáil party um, abstained on the vote, but uh, I think it was tied at 51-51. Uh, uh, so I want to, uh, to warmly commend Solidarity and People Before Profit for updating and reintroducing this vitally important bill. I notice that student-specific uh, accommodation is mentioned um, along with the, a number of other amendments. I believe this bill will, much, uh, will provide much greater security of tenure. Uh, it, it will significantly significantly extend notice periods, it will force landlords to pay compensation uh, to uh, tenants uh, who have been evicted due to family members moving back into accommodation units and, and indeed other improvements. Of course, uh, last can the uh, out of control, uh, totally out of control property and rental uh, sector has been a, the major contributing factor of course to our homeless crisis, that and the total inaction of government and actually it, it, it's kind of laughable to hear people talking about introducing bills uh, when perhaps they were in government for many long years and had opportunity after, after opportunity to bring in this type of bill and failed to do it. Uh, but uh, we, we, we know all the important agencies in the, in, in the housing area working on the ground with individuals, families, tenants, uh, confirm that there is a stream of people uh, week in, week out entering homelessness because of eviction notices, increased rents, unaffordable rents, excuses about selling or refurbishing a property just for it to be re-advertised at a higher rent um, and, and then these so-called uh, dubious terminations, these uh, uh, rent of Rent, uh, rent evictions, I think our colleagues were calling it. And certainly, uh, can, this is my experience, week in, week out, uh, meeting uh, families and individuals in homelessness, facing homelessness, um, uh, that that is the nub of the situation. Uh, so when I look at the bill, I particularly welcome many of the sections, particularly Section 5, providing for the abolition of the sale of property as grounds for terminating a property by amending Sections 34 and 35 of the 2004 Act. Uh, uh, section 6 is also important uh, regarding the termination of a tenancy on the ground of needing, needing dwelling for occupation by the landlord or a member of the family, and Section 7, uh, indeed, the um, abolition, uh, abolishing the requirement of, uh, of um, the refurbishment or renovation as a grounds to terminate uh, tenancy, and I know it's on page uh, 6 of the bill there. The extension of the, uh, the uh, notice periods uh, down to a year for, for people with uh, tenancy of five years or more, uh, that's, that's all uh, very important um, and valuable uh, legislation I think this House uh, should approve. Um, and of course, we're just a few days from Christmas. Uh, Minister, and we'd have this appalling situation where nearly 4,000 of our children are still in desperate homeless accommodation in family hubs or in hotels uh, or the hidden homeless in grossly overcrowded households. And you and Deputy Murphy uh, and uh, Deputy Varadkar are totally responsible for that. Um, I, I note that the excellent Mick Call and hashtag my name is campaign, they'll be bringing their hashtag Twitter tree to uh, the doll last can. Uh, on the 19th of December, where we'll be able to read the tweets about what the public thinks about child homelessness uh, this Christmas, and they're infuriated by it. That's the reason they would have liked a general election minister in the next couple of weeks. And we notice today that the Fianna Fáil party has decided again to prop up this government, this government that's been so incompetent in the housing area, so incompetent in the health area, so incompetent across the whole range of government, uh, a government that's failed to achieve anything, and under this uh, curtain of the the Brexit fears, uh, we're not going to get, uh, because of the Fianna Fáil, the F uh, Fianna Fáil being prepared to prop up the vehicle once again to carry on to carry on with the failures in which you are deeply involved with Fine Gael in relation to housing. You're going on with the uh, Deputy. You're going on with the Deputy and, and uh, you're not serving this country. We need to give people a, a chance to make a decision about the, policy, the housing pro policies, the rental policies of this government, uh, of this government, uh, a large component of which is comp composed of landlords. We need to give people a chance to vote on that as soon as possible. Uh, but I commend this bill to the House. Thanks, Welcome Oscar.